Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Simmerman. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always wonderful to have you along for the ride. And speaking of ride, uh, this is my shakeout ride to try to recover from jet lag and uh, just the fatigue of traveling to the Netherlands and uh, and immediately attending the International Cargo Bike Festival, which I'll be profiling in a video here real soon. Uh, so enjoy the ride. And on this edge lane road, we're heading into the downtown area. Pretty major route for people cycling in. And you'll see that we've got uh, some fir filtered permeability ahead. And you'll notice on this feed strat, you see the bricks in the center area. And again, you see just how busy this area is, heading into the Old Town area. We're gonna turn to the right, head towards the Central Station. And here we are at the Delft Central Station. And we'll swing around and show you where the bike parking actually is. This is just some overflow. So yeah, some good connectivity here in the Delft area, main central station, being able to get out to uh, pretty much anywhere you need to go. <laughs> and uh, except some of the tracks are under repair right now, so it's a little rough trying to travel in and out of uh, Delft, especially towards uh, Amsterdam. But that's okay. They're gonna have it uh, repaired in a couple days. Delft Central Station, and as you can tell, the racks are full. <laughs> They've had to expand and add more. Um, sorry, we didn't do a more extensive tour on that, but uh, they really don't like you to film in there for obvious safety reasons, I guess. But out we go. Swing back around. Oh, there's the swap feeds. 
Okay, we're back up here on the main level of the uh, train station. We'll swing back down past the entrance. See the uh, Ove Feats storage there for the bike share bike. And here's a car guru. Mobicon is right around in here. And this is sort of the main drag heading over towards the university area. And again, this is shared space here. You can tell with the red asphalt and the cars being present. Nice. Comfortable pathway over there on the other side. that area is over there. Now this is the famous most busy cycle path in Delft, probably in much of the Netherlands on a uh, busy school day. It is crazy busy. Very, very cool actually. And this is the bicycle priority intersection that I have documented before. We'll come back and film some more on this in a bit.
see over here there's some overload parking for bikes. I believe, yep, there is a bike garage right over here. vibration there let you know if you're uh, sort of getting off the path very nice haptic signal protect the pedestrians over there you can just see how brilliant the, uh, the pathways are and into the campus. I believe we are on the circle route. One of them. It does seem like it's diving through the middle of campus. And what I like about this section here is it really gives you a, an idea as to how they navigate around and under the major highways, which do exist here in the Netherlands. There you go. Head down this path here. Go parallel to this heavy route. See what it's like up here. You hear the birds. And we hear the cars. Looks like it is a little uh, scissor path going down lower level. Let's go check it out. Okay. Interesting. This is definitely a part of Delft that I have not explored yet. Seems to be adjacent to the main university campus. 
over here. I can sort of hear students hooting and hollering, shouting. Sounds like they're doing some sort of games, maybe, maybe football. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's just on the other side of the trees. There's campus. I've clearly picked up a squeak on my bike. Just in time for shooting video. There's a little cut through path. Through the middle of campus. I remember seeing that one. And you can tell this time of day on a Saturday, there's not much in the way of activity on this particular side of the university on the path. Even on that, uh, the other side there, you could really tell how busy it was adjacent to housing and uh, the downtown area, main connector to the downtown. Approaching our busy intersection once again. And it's always so great to see multiple generations. example of how the motor vehicles are able to get the green light and then immediately it senses that they're through or on their way through and then the uh, the green light uh, returns to the cycle path and you'll see during during the school days, uh, there's literally hundreds of students, faculty, staff, and uh, just residents in the area going through that intersection. Because again, it is a major connector artery to the downtown. go on this little uh, feed spot. This is what we saw from the other side there. Nice because you're kind of in the green. You don't have any cars around you. It's incredibly nice. over there it is smoother over there because it's the smooth asphalt treatment versus the stones over here the vibrations from the stones obviously make it a little less comfortable for riding on but it also keeps our speeds down which is probably point part of the point given the fact that it's a 
shared his own. Now we transitioned over into a section where, uh, as you saw on that sign back there, it's considered a woo nerf zone, shared space. This is actually going to lead us to another critical crossing up here. Back in 2019, one of these bridges was still under repair. Might have been this one here. I've got that footage so we can pull it up and take a look. But you do have to be uh, cognizant of the aggressive scooter drivers here in Delft. They have not yet been kicked off of the cycle tracks and paths as they should be. There's a good example of um, elderly mobility scooter and an aggressive kid on the scooter there which was not very cool. From the look on his face, he, uh, he recognized he was being way too aggressive. And up here is a prime example why cities do this. Entire families can go about their daily business. Thank you. 
and you do see a few recreation cyclists out on the weekends not uncommon Again, there's that uh, feet pod over by the residential area. See a few people over there. Even though it is a little rougher, this is much nicer. And you can see the 30 kilometer per hour sign there. You see the speed bumps. Again, pavers, bricks helping. Bricks and the pavers help to make it uh, a little slower environment. And we transition here into an edge lane road. Again, unfortunate that they are retaining parking on that side really does not make for a comfortable environment when you are in the door zone even though the Dutch are pretty good at not swinging a door open into the way of a rider however why even tempt that when it can be designed out And you may have noticed we're riding into a, an industrial area. I hope I'm heading the right direction. Looking for, I believe, a brewery. It's, there's definitely people walking in this direction, so maybe. Yeah, I think we have found it. Pretty cool, industrial area and a little brew place. Pretty cool. part of the old factory. Delft is famous for its old pottery. This must be all part of the old Delft pottery. What a cool space.
Sounds like there's racquetball or squash in there. Cool. Obviously, the kids love it. Well, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Ride through the old. Delft Blue Factory. Nice. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little tour around Delft. Uh, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Leave a comment down below and be sure to share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be so honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Uh, just click on the subscription button down below and Ring that notifications bell so you can customize your notification preferences. And a huge thank you to all my Active Towns ambassadors uh, supporting me on Patreon, buy me a coffee, the YouTube super thanks, you can do that folks, <laughs> as well as uh, buying things from the Active Town store. I really do appreciate it and every little bit adds up. So until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.